Mindfulness is really a relationship that you have with the stuff that's happening. It's observing it. It's noticing it. It's like being a scientist. As a scientist, I know that in the lab, I have to watch everything carefully, get all the data down, and I can't judge the data. So mindfulness is not cleaning the mind, always calming the mind. It's maybe even noticing that the mind isn't calm. I want at first be modeling mindfulness for my child, but later, I'm not gonna be there when they need their mindfulness. They're gonna be on the playground. Someone's gonna say something to them that's gonna really hurt their feelings. And if they've been practicing, it might be just that little bit easier to pull in that skill of standing back before we speak. And then if we do start speaking and reacting and throwing words at each other, which do hurt by the way, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, no. Words can really hurt. And if anyone in the interaction parent, child, this child, that child, teacher, can stand back for just a second and see what's happening for what it is. Not for the story that we're telling about it, for what it is, a moment of stress, right? Not a prediction, not the future, that can diffuse it. So in terms of how I came to mindfulness, I came to it first as a psychologist, and there's a ton of research now on it, it's very hot, um, but I, I'm speaking to you today as a parent in that my own practice, learning to pull in mindfulness and be aware, even being aware of my worst moments, has helped me enjoy my life more, and it's now something I want to offer my children.